So the next position would be the seated position. So we're going to do um, on the chair. Um, doesn't work quite as well, but we'll try it with a lacrosse ball and a softball. And then we'll do it on the floor with a foam roller and these balls as well. So with the chair, um, what I want to do is have it with a baseball or softball. The height of the hip is right here. And we know that below the height of the hip, you have the, the gluteal maximus muscles, the one on the back area. So we're going to place the softball in that position. Lean into your chair and then you could slide side to side and then reposition it and do the same thing. And then you can use a lacrosse ball. Again, because it's narrower, you could get deeper into the muscles. Now, make sure you have a chair that has a backing because you could do the side of the hips in the chair. So again, moving forward and backward and in and out to capture the muscle grip and then reposition to do the same thing. Now, the deeper layer, you could use the lacrosse ball. And this chair, the seat is quite small. Um, normally the chair will come out further, so a little bit more support. So with the lacrosse ball, you're going to have it. So here's your thigh bone. Here's the back of the hip, the sacrum, the edge part. What you want to do is those deeper layers are coming from here and more of them are coming from your sitting bone to the thigh bone. So those are the areas that we're going to address. So I place the ball just on the edge of the sacrum and then on the seat part of the chair and I move side to side and forward and backward. Side to side, forward and backward. Now I'm going to place the ball between the sitting bone and the thigh bone. So I have my hands on the chair for support and I can move forward and back, side to side, forward and back, side to side. Now what we'll do is have the other position on the mat. And that'll be our next segment. So we're still staying in the sitting position, but instead of a chair, we're going to do it on the mat. So this is where you can use a foam roller. Now, in the sitting position on the mat, you can't get to the upper part of the gluteals or the, on the soft tissue of the sacrum in that area. So what we're going to do is focus in on the deeper or lower part of uh, gluteus maximus as well as the deeper muscles in this position. So I'm going to grab the foam roller and place it on. Place my hips on the foam roller and then roll back and forth. Now the, the, the width of the foam roller won't penetrate down to the deeper layer as much as a lacrosse ball or a softball, but it gets the gluteus maximus area. So I always like using the foam roller first to help warm up the tissues that are superficial. And now I'm going down towards my sitting bone and then moving back up. After the foam roller, or before I go there, you can use a rolling pin or even a can if you don't have a foam roller. With a softball or the crossball, same position as with the foam roller, it will get more specific. So you got to be careful with the amount of pressure you place your body on the ball. That's why you have your hands out to apply as much or little pressure 
as possible. So right now, I'm just on the inside of my thigh bone. So between the sitting bone and the thigh bone for those deep uh, rotating muscles, so the lateral rotators. And now I'm gonna move up so I'm get close to the sacrum. And then move outward back to the inside of the thigh bone and sitting bone area. Now we'll move on to sideline position 